This photo is a photo of the actual CRV Kylie Rodney owned, and if you notice, there is no sunroof. I took it upon myself to go to the same website that Zav Girl went and shown us last night. When I go to this website and I just enter Honda CRV, I can bring up the same diagram that Zav Girl used with Kylie's VIN number trying to say that that was like a, a diagram for her vehicle. But what Zav Girl does not realize is the only information that you gain access to with putting in that VIN number is the stuff that was in the box above. Um, because this website is designed to purchase parts from. So when you go down and you, you look at that photo, that photo is a universal photo that shows all options you can get on that vehicle because those, those parts can be ordered later. Um, I really hated to have to do this, but misinformation is extremely, extremely dangerous. I don't think this is like any malicious type agenda thing. I would really hope not, but I just wanted to make sure everyone actually understood what this website is for and what this is. When we go there, we put in See just Honda CRV. Sammy, right? it That's up the all. Same thing. It's all it comes down to. It's just our number one. Not going to stay on this long, but it's just about the sunroof. They set me a, a a site where I could go on Honda. I type in the VIN number on the Honda site, and it shows you all the specifications. So, what do you guys think it's going to show? I already know the answer. Let's just do a poll and see what you guys think. But I'm just curious, like, how, where people are standing on the sunroof thing, the moonroof. Like I said, the only reason it is important is just because we're trying to see how much or see how much we could believe Sammy, right? That's all. It's all it comes down to. It's just our number one. Our, our suspicions are with Sammy a little bit. Um, we just want to kind of like look a little bit more into it. Like maybe she she might not have anything to do with it, but we're just trying to figure it out. So we're just trying to check off to see what, if what she said is the truth. So that's one big thing she said very... Um, oh, thanks for joining, Michaela. She said very matter-of-factly. I'm like, it was like a fact. Kylie Addison, okay? So that's why it's important. We just want to see if it's true because, a lot, you know... It doesn't look like she does, but I want to show you what we could answer that question. And I know there'll probably still be doubters, but you guys, this is, I think this is the confirmation, the only confirmation we need. I mean, we're on Honda website, but I mean, I guess you guys could choose to believe it or not, but I'll show you what it, what it shows. We're not going to stay on this subject long. I know some of you guys don't are annoyed by that. I'm going to give you guys one minute to answer. Here is the Honda store so you could yeah here's the vin this is her vin you guys could screenshot it double check that's what it is um oh shoot I'm trying to make it bigger in case you guys want to double check okay so to make sure i have the right vin just gonna oh so i'm gonna do the same one okay okay vin enter here's the vin number everything is checking out Honda 2013, L trim, LX, transmission, everything, okay? And is the six, okay, just shows you this. Okay, so let's continue. Do you think Kylie's car has a sun or moon roof? We're looking at only 32% says yes, okay? Darn it. Hold on a second. I screwed it up. But that would give us enough time. Hold on. Give me one second. Just, uh, it almost, I think it's because I zoomed in. It made everything in boxes instead. So I'll hold on a second. It just kind of screwed me up here. Sorry, guys. Continue. So you see, it's the same thing. Okay. So body and air condition. It does look a little bit different because of the... I mean, it's because I zoomed it in and it's like, it's uh, the presentation's a little bit different. We could see, now we have to go to, where is it? Outer panel, this is where it's gonna show our outer panel roof panel.
gosh, it did it. See, this is it usually shows a picture, but because I zoomed in, it's all met. There we go. Okay. So the answer is da da da. Yes, it does have one. You can see the panel. It breaks everything down like exact, like every little freaking detail. But it does, you guys. It has one. This is the VIN number, straight from the VIN number, straight from Honda. It has a freaking one. Okay. So she wasn't lying about that. So that's good. As you see, Kylie's card is I mean, if any of you guys want to check it out, I mean, look, it doesn't. It's store, it's Honda online store. You just type in the VIN and, and it gives you like every, every little deed. I mean, down to the panel, to the part, to everything. Like if you want to order a part. So I know there'll probably be still people in denial, but I am um, convinced enough. Honda says it, VIN number. So that's confirmation in my eyes. So I do believe there was a I found this um, live a little bit strange, but that's just my thoughts, you know. Um, I'm not sure why Zav is saying that, but, you know, I remember way back when this was happening here and Kylie's car was being pulled out, you can see very clearly that there is no sunroof. In the photo of Kylie's car, there is no sunroof. That's because her car has no sunroof. When you go to that website, and you do what she did there, what she is not understanding is that, that that diagram, that shows up no matter what you put in, even if you don't use a VIN number, like I shown you in the beginning of the video. And so that doesn't prove anything. That website, when you search the VIN number, it gives all that information that she first brought up. Um, but that's not what she was looking for. She was looking for the diagram. And like I said, it's like a universal diagram. It has all the options you can get on um, a Honda CRV. So I just want to make sure everyone understood that her car actually doesn't have a sunroof. And I, I just don't want that agenda to get spread and then the family have to deal with a bunch more stuff and all that harassment and all that. And it's really unnecessary and it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for the fans. It's heartbreaking for everyone. It's really, though, heartbreaking for that family. They, they have begged and begged for us to stop. So um, I'll just be praying for them and everyone else. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want to support Mysteriously Brittany and our initiative, um, you can do that. Everything should be in my bio. I thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, love you guys. Toodles.